Welcome everybody. This is the video related to the safety issues. Now before performing any experiment, it's essential to know a bit about the different components involved and to know how to take different precautionary measures and how to handle different components with utmost care. Now, one of the central components in our experiment is the Aspotec Labrador, which is a multi-purpose device where we have a power supply where we can regulate the voltage uh, from 5 volts and even beyond. But there is a limit which may be up to 12 volts or maybe even less. Then uh, the other component of uh, the Labrador is the signal uh, generator where we can generate different waveforms whether it's triangular waveform, square waveform, or sinusoidal waveform. We also have the oscilloscope. So we have two of those represented with channel 1 and channel 2, where we can visualize different waveforms. And this is also connected to the digital uh, analyzer or logic analyzer, which is another component of this uh, multipurpose device. Now, uh, some of the safety rules that we should be following are never work on a circuit while power is applied. Do not connect power to a circuit until the circuit is finished and you have carefully checked your work. So once you are confident enough that your circuit is working properly or should work properly only then you should connect it with the power supply if you smell anything burning immediately disconnect the power and examine your circuit to find out what went wrong so remember to keep your work area dry and clean you should not have any bottle or anything that contains liquid nearby Always use common sense and pay attention to the task you are working on. And if you are facing any problem where in that particular situation you are not able to handle it properly, you can always ask the instructor or TA for advice. And for that, you can even email a photograph of the circuit for inspection. Now, as I said, that Labrador is the central component in our experiments or main com one of the main components in our experiment then we also need to know a little bit about it so labrador is a collection of independent tools or which are logic analyzer signal generator oscilloscope power supply so there are no internal connections between labrador's different instruments so all voltages are ground referenced with the exception of the multimeter. Now multimeter is another instrument uh, that we can be using uh, from the Labrador. Now multimeter is another of the instruments which is usually connected to the uh, channel 1 and channel 2 of these two oscilloscopes. So if your oscilloscope measures 5 volt, it means that the voltage at the node uh, your oscilloscope pin is connected to is 5 volt higher than the Labrador's ground pin. So make sure you connect the ground point of your circuit under the test to Labrador's ground pin. So which is this one. Now if you don't know what AC coupling is, don't use the AC coupled pins. So you can see the AC coupled pins in the signal generator and there is also the oscilloscope channel AC and it's in both of, both of these oscilloscopes. So use the DC coupled pins instead as they don't alter your signals. For general use, we will be almost always using the DC coupled pins as they do not alter our signals in any way. 
Now, Labrador is idiot proof, but not completely idiot proof. You should be able to shot any two pins together without damaging your board. If you start touching live wires to random components on your board, it's not guaranteed what will happen. Please make sure you only connect your circuit to the external header pins and don't dangle live wires near the microcontroller. So I think these were some of the essential safety rules and information related to that.